Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Frame Tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, the Frame Tool in Adobe Photoshop is a feature that allows you to create a rectangular or a circular placeholder for images, graphics or other content. It acts as a container or a placeholder for the content and can be resized and moved as needed. So, the frame tool in a toolbar you can see over here you can move your mouse pointer over here and you can see a frame tool and by pressing K you can activate this frame tool by keyboard shortcut so friend first of all we are going to create one document where we are going to see some properties and a basic of this frame tool for that I am going to go file new and I am just creating new document frame tool fine just press ok so this is our a new document now I'm just activate this frame tool so right now I'm in move tool by pressing K it will be activated now on the top of this you can see there are a two properties use the mouse to create a new rectangular frame or use a mouse to create a new elliptical frame so right now I'm just selecting this rectangle one and I'm creating frame like this just drag from your mouse and you can create a frame now friends if you look here in your layer panel we will see that Photoshop added the frame on its own separate frame layer so this is our original layer okay blank layer and this is a frame layer now the thumbnail on the left represent the frame itself indicate by a small frame icon in a lower right as you can see and the right thumbnail on the right is for the content inside the frame since there is no content yet the thumbnail is just filled with white now friends we are going to see how you can embed one image inside this frame so for that you need to go to file and here you can see place embedded okay just click here so friends now you need to go to the location now friends just uh, click the image you want to import inside this frame so right now I'm just click on this image and just click on place after clicking on the place this image directly embedded inside this frame now if we look again and the frame layer in the frame panel we see the content of the frame now appearing in a thumbnail on the right okay before it is empty now it is filled with this frame because we embedded this footage now friends you can also move this footage with your mouse pointer okay you can also transform it go to edit and here you can select a free transform okay and you can also use ctrl T for that okay you can just adjust it like this okay and press enter so friends like this you can use a frame tool in a many ways so for now I'm just deleting this one and now I'm selecting the frame tool and select this elliptical frame and just creating one elliptical over here like this okay now what we are going to do next we are going to do file and here we are going to select place embedded and now we are just selecting one footage and click on the place as you can see it will be automatically placed inside this frame okay you can also adjust with your mouse pointer or you can also use a free transform okay to adjust it like this okay and press enter so friends like this you can use a frame tool in a many ways you can also now move this frame like this so friends now we are going to see some example where we are going to check this frame tool directly on the footage for example I have this footage now I want to frame this face now what we are going to do we are just selecting this frame and now here I am selecting elliptical okay and I am just selecting this face and as you can see my frame selected this face but for now it will be not replaced now our main footage in a background okay it will be below this frame footage so what we have to do we are just unlock this and drag and drop to the top of this footage 
and as you can see it will be automatically inside this frame okay now with the mouse pointer you can adjust this okay or you can also use a transform so friends as you can see you can also use a frame tool in a many other ways now friends next we are going to learn how you can convert a shape or a text to a frame tool so for that i am just creating one new document okay where we are going to convert our shapes into frame okay and press enter now i'm just creating one shape for example i'm creating a ellipse tool or okay polygon tool fine i'm just creating a polygon tool here i am applying a slide 6 so friends if you don't know about a shape tool so i am telling you that we already cover a shape tool in our previous video just check over here and you can see the link okay just click and you can see that video if you don't know about shapes so i am just uh, creating this shape like this okay just select a move tool and you can move this fine now what we are going to do is we are going to convert this shape into the frame and then we are going to embed any footage or anything inside this frame so for that what you have to do is just go to a layer panel and right click on the shape layer and here you can see one option which is convert to frame just click here and you can apply a name i'm just applying a shape to frame you can also apply the size and press ok so as you can see in a layer panel our shape layer is converted into the frame layer okay so friends now you can do the same things you can go to file and go to place embedded and you can place any image inside this so friends the same way you can also convert a text into your frame tool for that i am just creating one new document okay i'm just selecting okay text to frame and press okay fine now i'm just selecting this text we are going to learn about a text tool in detail for now just for this frame tool i am creating one text just apply frame okay now what we are going to do is we are going to convert this text into the frame just right click on it and press convert to frame here you can apply a name text to frame you can also change this width and height and press ok so guys as you can see our text layer is converted into the frame okay as you can see here is our frame and here is our frame thumbnail okay so next what we are going to do okay we are going to add this no footage inside our text to frame just drag and drop over here so as you can see this no footage is came on the top of this layer now this is a second technique where you can add uh, any footage inside a text now what we have to do is we just need to go to a layer panel and select this layer and drag and drop inside this frame okay friends so as you can see this is a very interesting and a creative way to create any kind of creative text in adobe photoshop you can also use your mouse pointer to drag and drop that snow footage okay like this you can adjust it okay you can use a free transform to scale it and scale out okay now friends our next method is to go to a file okay here you can select a place embedded as we already learned before in our normal document where we are just creating one frame tool and embedded image so you can also use the same technique in a text okay i'm just placed embedded here you can select any footage you want inside that text 
so I want the cloud one so I'm just selecting a cloud and press place so friends as you can see just select a move tool and you can scale it and scale out also just zoom out and I'm just using a free transform and you can scale it and scale out your cloud footage so guys this is a very interesting way to use a frame tool in Adobe Photoshop so friends till now we learn the basic of a frame tool we also learn how to convert a shape into the frame we also learn how to convert a text into the frame so friends like this you can use a frame tool in a very creative way and create and fabulous art in Adobe Photoshop so thank you so much guys see you in the next video